It's the bounding, burly, lovable Bernese Mountain Dog. But is this dog built to pull carts? This is a dog that has an innate desire to work. Yep, that's right. If you have farm chores, this is the dog for you. Strap a burner to a cart and let them get to work, and they'll love it. The animal was bred for a purpose, and you can see it most come to life when it's pursuing that purpose. Bernese Mountain Dogs are known to pull up to a thousand pounds. That's ten times the burner's body weight. And one big burner even pulled 2,200 pounds, or the weight of a car. Despite these feats, responsible owners are careful not to push their burners. You have to use the right equipment, and you have to ask the dog to do only as much as you think they really are physically capable of doing. <laughs> Bernie's Mountain Dogs are named for the Bern Canton, the central region of Switzerland where the dogs originate. Some believe the Berner Sennenhund, as the breed is known in Swiss, may be up to 2,000 years old. It's believed that the Mastiffs that the Romans carried with them during their military campaign was introduced to a herding dog in the lower Alps of Switzerland. The resulting Bernese mountain dogs became indispensable to rural Swiss farm life as drafting dogs. Drafting is another name for pulling carts. And they are also bred, obviously, to be wonderful companions. At the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, new transportation methods began to replace drafting dogs. Due to lack of concentrated breeding, the Bernese nearly disappeared. Led by Professor Albert Heim, concerned Swiss breeders reestablished the lineage in the late 19th century. They're very affectionate, very loving, playful at times. They have a very subtle, loving expression due to their tricolor markings. Those distinctive black, white, and rust markings are shared among all of the greater Swiss mountain dogs. This group includes the Appenzeller Sennenhund, the Entelebucher Sennenhund, and the greater Swiss mountain dog. But the Berner is the only one with a long, silky coat. They were a dog that was bred to be able to withstand very cold temperatures. Burners are built for the mountains with thickly muscled, powerful legs. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a very strong dog. That muscle mass makes the burner almost 30% heavier on average than the Labrador Retriever, even though labs stand roughly as tall as the burner. Like all big dogs, health problems abound. Bernese Mountain Dogs sadly do not generally live very long. Most that I've known live about eight years. Hip dysplasia, bloat, and various cancers are a problem in this breed. The Bernese can also suffer from a debilitating joint problem called osteochondritis. This genetic condition occurs in younger dogs when cartilage near a joint degenerates. The result can be pain, arthritis, or permanent lameness. It's best when going to a breeder to make sure that your puppy is free of those health concerns. Burners are a people-oriented dog and love to be part of a family. This is a great family dog, a really good dog to have around kids. That long coat sheds heavily, but burners generally don't need lots of expensive grooming. Burners are easy to train, but you'll need to be patient and consistent. Stand, stay. They tend to be a dog that matures much later mentally than some other dogs, which means that you have to really work hard. The Bernese Mountain Dog in general is happiest on a large piece of land. The breed has many health concerns, including joint problems. It's a heavy shedding dog and requires consistent training. The Burner is an affectionate dog that does well with children. Want him to give you a kiss? Hey, dog.